This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Conan Exiles video. Today we're going to take a look at the updated Hanuman's Grotto. Let's get to it. Okay, so if you're not sure what I'm talking about, it's right here. Hanuman, Hanuman's, however you want to pronounce it, Grotto, it is in 3H and uh, it got an update. So before we take a look at the new updated version, let's take a look at what it looked like previously. Okay, now that we've seen the previous version, let's go in here. So you can see they've added a few extra imps and there's like an imp boss back in here or can spawn back in here. Uh, let's see, where's he at? Right there he is. This guy right here. He's a mini boss, uh, 2000 HP. And then we come back in here. Now you can either swim down and go down that way and back up or you can just swim across the top and then climb up and over this and then come over to here. So what we're after here, this, that's pretty much it. All they really added was the few extra imps, the imp boss, and then this guy and this chest and this little like note here just gives you some lore, good old lore note. Uh, that's pretty much all they really added in here. As you can see, there's not a whole lot left, but this guy here is a three skull boss with 4K HP. So you should be able to take him out mm, relatively early-ish, like maybe in your 20s, 25, 30, something like that. He should, he should be doable. If I uncloak, he is a spear fighter. So that makes it a little bit easier actually that he is a spear fighter because the spear Spear AI is relatively easy to dodge as you can see so um, yeah and uh, let's let's hit him a few times so you can see there you go so he doesn't have the highest armor and it'll take you a little bit of work but you should be able to be able to beat him relatively easy and then once you do let's kill him die there you go you can get a withered heart from him he also drops a spear let's see if we can get that to drop there we go. He finally dropped it. Right there it is. It's this right here, the Staff of Hanuman. And uh, it says that it's it's uh, powerful, but I mean, it's only 28 damage with 9% armor pin. And other than that, it's just a legendary spear. I guess early game wouldn't be bad. You can see there's not a real, nothing real special about it. Just a legendary spear. What we're really after is this box right here. This box it's fantastic because this box gets you some new pet action. So first off, if you have the Withered Heart, it will give you something. But if you don't have anything, if you don't have any hearts, and you hit Interact, it says you don't have a required item. If you have the Withered Heart, you will get the Boon of the Gorilla. That's going to just get you kind of like a, a low levelish gorilla. And we'll take a look at these here in just a minute. So the withered heart is not the only heart that this thing accepts. So if we have a bunch of other hearts here, I'm actually going to drop these out so that you can see which ones do what. So if we use the human heart, you can see we got the gift of or Hanuman's gift. It gives you a random attribute. And if we go in here and we grab the heart of a hero, and we use that one. You can see it got us the boon of the silver back. So that's going to allow us to spawn a silver back. If we use the heart of a Nordheimer, that got us the boon of the black yeti. It's going to get you a black yeti. And last but not least, the king scourge. That's going to get us the gray ape. So we got a total of four different uh, spawns or pet spawners, whatever you want to call them, and one of the potions here. If we use the potion, you see it just gives you a random, like it says, random. So I already drank one. That gave me the increased uh, survival. And then this one just gave me encumbrance. And you can see there that that one we just drank, they last an hour. 
That's pretty much the only reason you're gonna come into this cave. They did not, well, I mean, other than the crystal, you're definitely come in here because this is great for early game crystal. But uh, as far as like coming in here often, you if you want those pets, they're pretty easy to get because some of those hearts are relatively easy to get, especially the, the human heart. You can get those relatively easy early game and get those bonus attributes and stock up on those potions. You're gonna have to fight that guy, but like with the scuttler shortcut cave it should be possible to get in there kite that guy around and then look at that chest and hit e and then get back out of here without ever having to fight him if you don't want to okay so let's take a quick look at the different gorillas and yetis okay so first off we have the silverback that's the big boy right there and he comes in at 8265 hp he's gonna be a beast look at him absolute beast Okay, so next, that's that's a good one to go after right there. Then we have the, what is this guy? The gray ape. So here's the gray ape. And we've seen those. Those are over there in the jungle. He comes in at 3,610 HP. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Then we have the black yeti protector. Oh, that's, that's a big one right there. And he comes in at 8,265 HP as well. That guy is freaking massive. All right, so we get a, wow. Ape just completely, or the gorilla just completely destroyed that lady. Okay, and last but not least, we have the common gorilla. And he comes in at 2,746. But don't let that fool you. This guy's pretty tough. All of these, well, I'm taking, well, 3,000's not bad. But this one's the lowest one. But even with 2,000 HP, he can put up quite a, a fight. He does have decent armor. And um, the other ones, I mean, yeah, they're going to pretty much destroy anything that they come up against. Let's get this guy to follow. And we'll take a quick look at what he can do. Okay, here we go. So you can see he's pretty slow. That's something to keep in mind as far as like his attacks go. And he completely missed. Hey buddy, you wanna like actually kill something? There we go. Oh wow, he hits hard. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, he's not bad. I don't know if you take him to fight any bosses or anything like that, but uh, he definitely he definitely hits pretty hard. Yeah, he just almost one shot that guy for 120. Let's see what these have. These have 167. So let's see here. Yeah, not bad. Brought it down to 97. So yeah, he hits pretty hard. So something else to keep in mind is that you can't heal any of these. So if we take a look here, you can see that they are not getting the healing buff. Doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. Um, maybe if I can actually punch the silverback. There we go. He doesn't have it. So yeah, they, uh, they cannot be healed. That's something that kind of bo bothers me a little bit about the pets and I think should be changed. The pets should be healable. The thralls are healable. The pets should be healable as well. It's kind of annoying that they're not, especially with these ones that have like insanely high HP. Well, not insanely high, but really high HP at 8,265. If he gets brought down to half health and you want him to heal up before you take him out again, he's going to be out of commission for quite some time before you can do that. And there really should be a way to heal them, even if it's something like an out of combat heal, because maybe they haven't allowed us or don't allow us to heal them because if we could heal them they would be more OP than a thrall somehow I don't know how but maybe that's the case but even if it was a situation where we had like an out of combat heal that would be really nice uh, it's just kind of annoying that we cannot heal them at all they definitely need to put something in the game to allow us to do that either allow us to do it with the healing arrows like we can the thralls or um, some type of item that we can put in their inventory that they'll eat like they eat the food items in order to heal them up maybe their preferred food item heals them quickly or something like that um, but they definitely need that but so there you go there's one other thing that i want to point out before we wrap this up there is actually a boon of the yeti so we we got the boon of the black yeti but there's just the boon of the yeti which just spawns a normal yeti but 
I summoned in all of the different hearts. So we did the Nordheimer. We did all of these different hearts here. There's no other hearts here except for the heart of the hero. So we did all of those. So we got four gorillas and one potion. So I'm not sure if there's something different that you have to sacrifice to get this one or if you get this one from someplace else. But I just wanted to point this out in this video just in case anybody knows if it's like some other item you have to sacrifice there to get this guy. But you can see he's pretty much the same as the um, the Black Yeti except he has less HP. He comes in at 3,610. So he has is this as much as this one. Yeah, he has as much as this guy here. So these two, this one and this one have the same HP. This is going to be your lowest one. And then this one and this one have the same HP. But I don't know what to sacrifice to to get this guy or if that's even a thing. Maybe only the black ones can be summoned or there at the grotto and he's gotten someplace else. But I've seen it in the control panel and I know that it works and that I've spawned him in and looked at him before. So I just wanted to make sure I pointed out in this video just in case somebody's already figured it out they can you know put the comment down there and then I can pin it so everyone can know all right and that is pretty much it for this rework I like that they did this I think it's cool it gives you a reason to go back to that cave especially later on you know mid to late game you can go back there and get yourself some OP yetis especially when you're getting the hearts of the hero and stuff like that you can go back there and I like the fact that you can sacrifice the human hearts to get that early game buff potion. I think that's really cool as well because like I stated before, I'm pretty sure you could get back in there really easily without ever having to fight that guy and just because you it just takes a split second to look at that with the that chest with the item in your inventory and hit the activation key to get the potion or whatever. And if you got a bunch of them in your inventory at one time, it sacrifices them all at once, takes it all out and then gives you all of the stuff at one time. So I think it's a really cool thing that they added. I mean, other than that, they really didn't change too much to the cave, but I mean, that was enough and it was pretty cool. So let me know what you think down there in the comments. All right, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.